obey the Lord to live. Jeremiah 38 and verse 20. Jeremiah replied, You won't be handed over to them if you choose to obey the Lord. Your life will be spared and all will go well for you. The text describes Jeremiah's response to King Zedekiah, who questioned the prophet about his plight if he was likely to be captured by King of Babylon and mistreated by the Judeans. The prophet Jeremiah spoke what the Lord had told him. Jeremiah told King Zedekiah that the Lord had asked him to surrender to the King of Babylon, and he and his kingdom would be spared. On the other hand, if he did not do what the Lord had suggested, then he might have to lose everything, his life, his kingdom, his people, and his nation. However, King Zedekiah refused to obey the Lord and ended up in a mess. Obedience is no simple task. Doing the undoable is obedience. The Bible tells us that God is impressed with our obedience than our sacrifices. Moses obeyed God to lead the stiff-necked Israelites. Abraham obeyed God to bring his son as a sacrifice on the altar. Paul obeyed God by ministering to the Gentiles. Peter was obedient when he was hesitant to go to the centurion's house, nevertheless obeyed and saw God's mighty power save the lives of non-Jewish people who believed in the Lord Jesus. The simple act of obeying God made a paradigm shift in the life of Peter. He understood that Jesus was not just the Lord of the Jews, he was Lord of all. To live better lives and to be a blessing to the others, obedience to the Lord and his command becomes a mandate. King Zedekiah messed up not just his life but also the lives of people of his kingdom. Jesus' obedience to his Father to die on the cross gave humanity the joy of free living from the burdens of life. Obedience to the Lord at any cost of our life is indeed a blessing. Obey the Lord to live. Amen.